Please make sure you have your copy of the assignment calorimetry, specific heat capacity of oil. In this experiment, we're going to try to find the specific heat capacity, or how much energy it takes to change each gram of oil by each degree Celsius, so that we can use oil in our next experiment to find out how hot is a Bunsen burner flame. So, when you go back to the bench, you'll find the same basic material setup that we used in our previous experiment. The procedures and data table, make sure that you are keeping track of your data. The first thing that you want to do um, when you go back to the bench, I will be uh, giving you a cup that has some oil already in it weighed on the uh, balance. I put 50 grams of oil in there for you, and so you could just put that in your calorimeter. You just lift up the thermometer and just put the cup right in there. It'll fit right in there, nice and neat. Put the top back on and lower the thermometer again down into the oil and record the temperature of the liquid that's in the calorimeter first. You also want to read the uh, thermometer that's in the boiling water so that you know how hot that water is. That will take as the starting temperature of this hot piece of metal. There's a 200 gram piece of the steel metal uh, sitting in that boiling water. And once you have your starting temperatures measured, then you can take that piece of steel and you can put it right in the calorimeter and put the top on right away so we don't lose any of the heat. Put the thermometer back down in there and watch the thermometer go up. And when it reaches its highest point, then take that as the ending temperature of the calorimeter. And then do a little subtraction to find out how much the temperature has changed. If you swirl the cup just a little bit, that'll help to distribute the heat in there. It'll make the temperature rise a little more quickly. And when it reaches its final temperature, then read that value. When you're all done, Please do not take the piece of metal out of the calorimeter because it will just make a drippy, oily mess all over the lab bench. Just leave it in there. Let me know that you're done so that I can come over and take that out for you. I'm going to clean them off for the next class.